we can head down uh, to A4, which is where we're going to get on the plane, but uh, I'll tell you some more things down there as well. Every single plane is being electrostatically sprayed, and that's a huge thing that's different about us. Every single flight. We're adding 23 minutes to every single turn so we can get that plane 100% clean with fogging, wiping down the surfaces, doing quality control checks. The gate agent and the flight attendant will go through that and they'll look at everything and randomly check things. If there's anything that they're not happy about, they will actually go in and uh, they will stop the boarding process for that. Every single tray table is down before they do the fogging and every single overhead bin's open and they go through and they fog all the surfaces and then they put the tray tables up as a way to show that that row has been cleaned and wiped down. So it's like a system and then the, the windows shades as well. It's like everything's open and then once they've done that row, they put it down, they put it down, they put it down to show where they are in the process. All major touch points. So your tray tables, your armrests, the seat backs for your, for your uh, headrest during the flight, the window shades, um, obviously the washrooms are very heavily cleaned. Um, I've flown probably four or five times throughout the pandemic. I live in Michigan. Well, used to live in Michigan, but I go back to see my folks. And I compare these aircrafts now cleaner, cleaner now than flu season two years ago. Everyone travels like during spring break or in the winter time, right during flu season. I mean, you can smell you can smell the difference for sure uh, when you get on these planes. Not that they weren't clean before, but you can just see there's been that extra precautionary uh, step. Our displays are showing a lot about how we're electrostatic spraying the plane because people don't realize it because you, you don't see it when you get on the plane. We want to make sure that they know that we're doing that. So we're messaging that both on the, the screens as well as on their devices. So it'll say, we're sorry we're not boarding yet, but just know your plane is being electrostatically cleaned right now. It just reinforces that with messaging. So it's really giving that, that confidence. And we're boarding people 10 at a time as well to keep social distancing. Um, and it's weird when they make the announcement, the first group boarding rose 35 to 40. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? Um, what else can I tell you? So when you get on the plane, the flight attendant will give you a, a wipe, a Purell wipe as you're boarding the plane. You've got obviously the care kits here and the sanitizer here. Um, and then when you get on the plane, um, what they do is for, for the snacks now, it's a plastic bag with two snacks a Purell wipe, a water bottle, and um, that's done, it's packaged at the airport, not by the flight attendants. They're wearing gloves and they are handing that to you uh, in a very safe manner. The key like message throughout this whole thing is it's a multi-layered approach. So not one thing is gonna be the silver bullet. Masks are huge, but you put masks, HEPA filter, social distancing, capping the load factors, and then all the other things we talked about, you put those all together and you are, you're having one of the safest environments. The air quality is the safest, 10 times safer, requiring masks, all these things. And uh, when we look at our employees, we started tracking, of course, the uh, infection rate for our employees who are out at the airport, they're flying, they're in the air. It is five and a half times lower than any possible city, state as far as the impact and the rate and the COVID, five and a half times better than any other curve out there. And so it's all the stuff we're doing to protect our employees as well as customers that's causing that. All these steps together create that. And right now we're going through a testing, uh, baseline testing for all of our employees. Every employee has to be tested for COVID as well as antibodies and, and Delta's paying for that. We're doing it with the Mayo Clinic and Quest Diagnostics. We'll have a baseline, and then from there, we'll do random testing as well, but it's another layer, right? Another way to kind of make sure we're all looking out for each other.